This video will discuss on how to properly don and doff a Statadyne wrist splint. When looking at the device itself, we're going to pay close attention to the finger platform, which should support the digits well. The next consideration is the axis of motion on the device. The center of this wrist joint should be placed well through the axis of motion on the wrist itself. Next, we're going to pay attention during wrist extension that our L-shaped bracket should be on the dorsal part of the forearm in order to provide good leverage and support during wrist extension. And lastly, we're going to pay attention to the base of support on the device. Ideally, with the elbow bent at 90 degrees, we want to have two fingers at the elbow crease. In order to apply the device, the patient simply would slide their hand and forearm through the forearm cuff paying close attention that the digit strap should encapsulate the PIP joint well and that way the digits will not pop up during wrist extension. Next we're going to move our way back more proximally to the wrist joint on the device itself. The wrist joint should be centered through the center of the wrist. As stated, the L-shaped bracket is on the dorsum part of the arm and then the cuff itself should be approximately two finger widths in placement with the elbow bent at 90 degrees. Once these things have been accomplished, the patient can simply tighten their forearm straps and then begin their range of motion therapy.